Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. It is great to be back in the California theater. We have some very fond memories here, and we're going to create a few more today. We've got some really exciting things to show you. And I'd like to get started with a few updates beginning with iPhone. iPhone 5 is off to a tremendous start. Customers love the stunning new design, the beautiful 4-inch retina display, and the super fast A6 chip. We sold out the first weekend, selling more than 5 million units. This was fantastic. This is the most iPhones ever sold in the opening weekend and the most phones ever sold in an opening weekend. The excitement was incredible. Customers could not wait to get their hands on the new iPhone. And of course, there is no better place to do that than in one of our amazing retail stores. To give you an idea of the kind of excitement we saw at the launch, we made a brief video, and I'd love to run it for you this morning. Thank you, sir. It's been very happy. Thank you. Our teams work incredibly hard to deliver amazing products like iPhone 5, and seeing this type of customer response reminds us of why we absolutely love to do it. At the same time we announced iPhone 5 last month, we announced two new incredible iPods, an all-new incredible Nano with a two-and-a-half-inch multi-touch screen and built-in Bluetooth and an amazingly thin iPod Touch with the same 4-inch retina display that we have on iPhone 5. These are off to a fantastic start. The reception has been fantastic. Here's what The Verge had to say. This year's iPod Touch is the best one ever. It's really a device without competition. Sales are going fantastic, and I'm pleased to tell you that together with the rest of the new iPod lineup, we've already sold over three million units. We're really happy to be shipping the new iPods 
in time for the holiday season, we think they're going to make incredible holiday gifts. Now, all of our iOS devices are powered by I iOS 6, our latest version of the world's most advanced mobile operating system. Our teams work really, really hard to make sure that as many devices as possible are upgradable to the latest operating system. And I'm pleased to tell you that in just after one month, we have 200 million devices running iOS 6. This, this is phenomenal. This is the fastest upgrade rate of any software in history that we're aware of. Now, iOS 6 and Mountain Lion have been designed to make Macs and iOS devices work together simply and seamlessly. And over the past year, we've announced some great new features that make your life easier. Features like documents in the cloud. You can do some amazing work on Pages Keynote or other applications on one device and then pick up right where you left off on any of your other devices. Customers have now placed 125 million documents in the cloud just over the last year, making them available to all of their devices. And features like iMessage. iMessage, of course, is the best way to send anyone a message on a Mac or iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad. You can see all of your messages on all of your devices. And you can start a conversation on one device and continue it on any of your other devices. Already, in just the last year, customers have sent 300 billion messages. And, and they're currently sending them at 28,000 per second. Maybe even more right now. And features like Game Center. It's the best way to play games with a friend on a Mac or an iOS device. We now have over 160 million game players, so they can compare scores or compete against anyone with an iOS device or a Mac. And finally, shared photo streams. This is the best way to share just the photos you want with just the people you want. This launched with iOS 6 just one month ago, and customers have already shared over 70 million photos with their friends and family. So you can see that there is some great ways for your iOS devices and your Macs to work together seamlessly. Now on to the App Store. Last month, we told you that we have over 700,000 apps in our App Store. And this number has continued to grow. And we also now have 275,000 iPad apps. This number is also growing. These apps are not stretched out smartphone apps. These are apps that have been custom designed to take advantage of iPad's big, beautiful canvas. And customers lo absolutely love the selection in the App Store. And we've reached another milestone. Customers have now downloaded 35 billion apps from the store. This is jaw-dropping. The App Store continues to exceed our expectations. Now, this is great for customers. They get the choice of some fantastic apps. But it's also great for developers. We've now paid out six and a half billion dollars to developers. It's great for Apple to be able to reward their creativity and hard work and their passion. Now, one of the most popular apps on the store is iBooks. iBooks, of course, 
makes it a pleasure to read on any of your iOS devices. It includes an elegant bookshelf where you can put literally hundreds of books and carry them with you anywhere you go. And just one tap and the bookshelf flips to reveal the iBook store where you'll find bestsellers, gorgeous full color picture books and multi-touch books. We now have over a million and a half books on the bookstore. And these, these cover every kind of subject you could ever think of. Customers have now downloaded 400 million of them since the inception of the store. If you open one of the books, you'll find gorgeous pages. And iBooks includes reading options like this beautiful sepia theme or this night theme, which makes it really easy on the eyes when you're reading in the dark. And today, we're announcing a new version of iBooks. And this contains a really cool new reading option with continuous scrolling. So if you just flick when you're reading, the words scroll by just as you would expect. The new version of iBooks is also better integrated with iCloud. So all of your purchased books show up on your bookshelf and you can tap one and begin reading just where you left off. There's also some fantastic new ways to share. You can just tap on your favorite quote and share it with anyone on Facebook or Twitter. This is really cool. We also have, we're also supporting over 40 languages, like this one from, this, this one in Korean. Notice the crisp, beautiful fonts that are available in iOS 6. And Chinese, look at the beautiful vertical print and Japanese. The pages turn left to right, just like you would expect, if you're Japanese, that is. <laughs> the new version of iBooks is available today. It's a free download. It's in the App Store, and I would encourage you to get it. It's really fantastic. I think you're going to love it. Now, I'd like to talk about the Mac. We've seen some incredible momentum with the Mac. For the year ending in June, the Mac outgrew the PC market by about seven times. And it's not just the last year. In fact, the Mac has been outgrowing the PC market for the last six years straight. And a key reason for this is the Mac is consistently named number one in customer satisfaction and reliability. And this is pretty much by all of the entities that rank this sort of thing. And this has led to the Mac being the number one desktop in the US and the number one notebook in the US. This is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Now, we're really pleased with all of the momentum with the Mac, but we are not standing still. We're going to continue innovating with the Mac, and we've got some really great stuff to show you this morning. And to do that, I'd like to invite Phil Schiller up to take you through it. Phil? How's everyone doing today? <laughs> well, I'm really excited because today is a very big day for the Mac. And it starts with MacBook. We have a great lineup of notebook computers called MacBook. And just a few months ago, we introduced perhaps the best we have ever created, the 15-inch MacBook Pro with a Retina display. And everyone has fallen in love with it. And Gadget wrote, the new display is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 
The Verge, best display ever for a laptop. Wired, Apple has undoubtedly created the best notebook display in the market. And they're all correct. <laughs> it is the best display housed in the best notebook design we have ever made. But you might not know that our number one selling notebook is actually the 13-inch MacBook Pro. In fact, it's our number one selling Mac. And customers love it because of its combination of power in small size. It's just perfect for so many uses. It truly is a great computer. So in typical Apple fashion, we're going to take our best product and we're going to introduce something so much better, so much cooler, more capable. And I'm really excited to show you for the first time the brand new 13-inch MacBook Pro. It, it is incredibly thin, just 0.75 inches thin. Let's put that side by side with the previous generation. You can see there's a huge difference. It's 20% thinner, a full one-fifth thinner. But even more impressive, it weighs just over three and a half pounds. That's almost a full pound lighter than the previous generation. It also makes it our lightest MacBook Pro ever. And here it is on the side. Look how thin that is. Beautiful thin base, thin display, and all the I.O. our pro customers need. On the left-hand side, there's MagSafe 2, two Thunderbolt ports, a USB 3 port, headphone, and dual microphones. On the right-hand side, as with the 15-inch, we removed the optical drive, and now we have room for an SD card reader, HDMI video out, and a second USB 3 port. Here it is on the other side, equally beautiful from both sides. <laughs> Best of all, it has a retina display. That is a display where the pixels are so small that at a normal working distance, your eye can't discern them. And everything on it looks absolutely gorgeous. It measures 13.3 inches on the diagonal. For pixels, it's an amazing 2,560 by 1,600. That is four times the number of pixels of the previous generation. And if you've done the math, I'm sure some of you have, that's 4 million 96,000 pixels. That makes it the world's second highest resolution notebook <laughs> computer. Yes, our 15 inch is the first, but think about that. This 13 inch notebook has more pixels than any competitive 15 or even 17 inch notebook. It is amazing. Looked at another way. Many of us have HD TVs now, 1920 by 1080, and here is the new 13 inch MacBook Pro alongside it showing the same image, but let's overlap those images. You can see the 13-inch MacBook Pro's retina display displays almost twice as many pixels, almost two million more pixels than an HDTV. It is a stunning display. In many other ways as well, it has rich color, deep blacks, 29% higher contrast ratio, and customers really appreciate this, a 75% reduction in reflection or glare. It's an IPS panel, so it has a very wide viewing angle. And up to full brightness, it's 300 nits, a very bright display. So this is an amazing display. And your applications look fantastic on it. So reading email, the text is so beautiful, you can't see the pixels. Surfing the web can be like a fine print magazine. Using iWork applications like Keynote, your slides look absolutely gorgeous iLife applications are great too. When you use iMovie, the small thumbnails of video are even stunning and sharp. And spe especially pro applications like our Aperture Photo application for pros. You now have access to four million pixels for native photo resolution. There's never been a small notebook that gave pro photographers this kind of technology and capability. And if you're looking for more apps that all support our new retina displays, just go to our Mac App Store. You're going to find plenty more there now. There's productivity apps like Evernote and OmniGraffle. There's creative applications like Pixelmator and Sketchbook Pro, and even games like Civilization V and Real Racing 2. There's a lot of great software now to support the Retina display. So that alone is an amazing new feature on the new MacBook Pro. But there's a lot more. There's a FaceTime HD camera with 720 video recording. 
dual microphones, stereo speakers that sound even better than the previous generation despite it being a thinner notebook. There's a beautiful backlit keyboard and a glass multi-touch trackpad. But I think the most exciting part about this computer is actually what you can't see. It's on the inside. So let's take the bottom off and get a deep look inside it. Everything about the new MacBook Pro has been re-engineered from scratch. First, the large dark areas around the trackpad, those are the batteries. We use asymmetric lithium ion battery technology. This allows us to get the maximum battery life out of such a small design. Let me highlight some of the features. It's pretty incredible. You have Intel dual core, i5 or i7, Ivy Bridge processors. Intel HD graphics, 4000, much faster graphics. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, standard eight gigabytes of memory, up to 768 gigabytes of flash. It's all flash based for storage. And of course, now up to seven hours of battery life in such a thin, light product. It is a fantastic computer. And it ships with OS X Mountain Lion. And Mountain Lion has many great features that take advantage of this technology and are perfect for our notebook users. So for example, built-in voice dictation. So anywhere you can type, you can also speak. And with dual microphones, that works even better. And of course, over Wi-Fi, we have AirPlay. So if you have Apple TV hooked up to your TV set, you can put your photos, your movies, your presentations up there for everyone to see. Documents in the cloud so you can work on your iWork documents on your MacBook Pro and access them wherever you are in your iPad or even your iPhone. And probably the coolest feature, Power Nap. With Power Nap, while your notebook is asleep, it can automatically update your contacts, your calendar, your email, your photo stream, download software updates, even back up to a time capsule. So this is a great new MacBook Pro and it starts the 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5, eight gigs of memory and 128 gigabytes of flash for just $16.99. So, now, now the 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display has been a big hit and this is $500 less expensive so customers are gonna really appreciate that. And it starts shipping today. And like all of our products, the team works very, very hard on making these environmentally friendly. So we have a checklist, and I like to show that with our products. It's Energy Star 5.2, EPEAT Gold, arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free display, BFR-free, PVC-free, and of course, the high-grade aluminum and glass are highly recyclable. So this is a great new MacBook Pro. And we're so excited to show it to our customers, we've even created an ad. So let's run that ad. Introducing the new 13-inch MacBook Pro. With the stunning Retina display. For the Pro in all of us. So the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display joins the 15 as the only two notebooks in the industry with Retina Display quality. And it's powerful and super thin and light, and customers are really going to love it. And here's our notebook lineup. We have MacBook Air starting at $999. For those who still want it, we keep the old generation there, MacBook Pro at $1199, and the new MacBook Pros with their Retina Display starting at $1699. Of course, you know there are multiple screen sizes on each and a few configurations. So if you're curious, here are the standard channel configurations for all of our MacBooks. And of course, there's a wide range here and something for nearly everyone. So that updates our MacBook lineup and it is the best line of portables we have ever offered. Next, Mac Mini. You knew there'd be something called Mini in this presentation, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> The Mac Mini is our smallest, most affordable Mac. And if you haven't looked at one lately, it's packed with a lot of great features. Gigabit Ethernet, Firewire 800, HDMI Video Out, Thunderbolt, USB, now upgraded to USB 3, four of them. 
SD card reader, and audio in and out. But the action on this product and the update is on the inside, so let's turn it over. And it's very accessible. You just take the bottom cover right off, and here's the inside. It's a beautiful, simple, small design. What's inside? Dual or quad Intel Core i5 or i7 Ivory Bridge processors, Intel HD Graphics 4000, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, up to 16 gigabytes of memory, and up to a terabyte hard drive or 256 gigs of flash. There are a number of configurations. It starts with the 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5, four gigs of memory, and a half a terabyte hard drive for just $599. There are other configurations, and a lot of our customers actually like to get it as a server to run OS 10 applications for server uses. And so we have a 2.3 gigahertz quad core i7, four gigs of memory, and two one terabyte hard drives, you know, and OS 10 server applications preloaded for $999. And these all start shipping today. And equally environmentally friendly as well, Energy Star 5.2, EP Gold, BFR free, PVC free, and highly recyclable. And Mac Mini is still the world's most energy efficient desktop. At idle, it consumes just 11 watts. It's really impressive. Our customers really like it. Well, we said this is a big day for the Mac. So I have one more Mac I'd like to tell you all about. And that's the iMac. The iMac is the best all-in-one computer in the industry. As you heard, it's actually the number one desktop model in the US. And for good reason. It is a great design, evolved over many years. In fact, many think of it as the flagship of the Mac product line. You may remember it all started back in 1998. <laughs> yes, with the Bondi Blue iMac. In fact, this really relaunched all of our products, the way we make products, how innovative they are, how incredible the designs are. And it also epitomizes something that Apple does so well to create a breakthrough innovative product, and then through the years, relentlessly keep updating it with the latest technology to push it as far as the technology allows. We've had seven generations of iMac, each one better than the last. So that's why it's so great today for you to be the first to see the next generation of iMac. And here it is. Absolutely beautiful. It is stunning from every side, edge to edge glass, that amazingly thin edge. Would you like to see one in person? Yeah. I hope so, because we have one right here. So this is the brand new iMac. It is absolutely incredible, the most beautiful Mac we have ever made. If you want to get a look at how thin it is, let me turn it just a little bit. Look at that edge. Just remarkable how thin that design is. There's an entire computer in here. It's hard to believe there's even just a display in here. All right, let me tell you a lot more about it. That edge is five millimeters thin. That is 80% thinner than the previous generation. And it extends the entire length. All the way down to this area at the bottom, we, we lovingly call this the chin. Now, the, this enclosure is made of two parts, that chin and that entire big aluminum back. And they're put together previously with some advanced laser welding. But this is so thin, we wanted to do something even more incredible. The engineering team used a technology, you may not have heard of it, called friction stir welding. This is unbelievable. The actual molecules of the aluminum emerge together between the two components to make one piece that is super strong and nearly seamless. 
the lengths they will go to to create these products is astounding. But how did we make it that thin? Well, to explain it, let me bring back up the previous generation. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how something new makes the previous thing instantly look old? It's incredible. Well, let's look inside and take it apart a bit. The first thing the team did was engineer an entirely new display that's five millimeters thinner. That's a huge difference. And if you ever look closely at the previous generation, there's a very thin air gap between the display and the front glass, a two millimeter air gap. Well, we've removed that as well by laminating the display directly to the glass. This was a huge challenge. We've never laminated a display this large to glass. But the benefits are huge. The entire display system is 45% thinner. That makes a big difference. Then we remove the optical drive and completely re-engineer all the internal components to make something this amazingly thin. Let's talk a little bit more about this display. The display comes in two sizes, 21 and a half inch and 27 inch. The 27 inch is 2560 by 1440. The 21 and a half inch, 1920 by 1080. They're both IPS panels for a beautiful viewing angle and at full brightness over 300 nits, so beautifully bright. And we said that's fully laminated. Besides making it thin, the full lamination delivers another benefit. When you look at it, the text and graphics will look like they're sitting right on top of the glass because they're right that close and it improves the optical quality. And then we also apply an anti-reflective coating to the display. But we wanted to make it even purer, even thinner, even higher quality image, image quality. And we use a new technology for us called plasma deposition. You can go home and tell people, today I heard about plasma deposition. It allows us to apply the anti-reflective coating down to a nanometer thickness. And the combination of all this hard work is really simple. Customers are going to appreciate that it is 75% less reflection than the previous generation. That's a really big deal. And to top it off, these displays are beautiful. They're each individually calibrated on the manufacturing line with a spectral radiometer. It is very, very cool. Some of the other features, there's a FaceTime HD camera for 720p, dual microphones, and stereo, a stereo sound system that sounds even better than the previous generation, which is so hard to achieve because this has 40% less volume than the previous generation. It also sheds up to eight pounds over the previous generation. Pretty remarkable. And again, like the MacBook Pro, so much work has gone on on the inside, I'm very happy to show you what that looks like. There is a serious computer inside this thin design. Here are some of the elements of it. Intel quad-core i5 or i7 Ivy Bridge processors, NVIDIA discrete Kepler graphics, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can have either up to 768 gigabytes of flash or up to three terabyte hard drive and up to 32 gigabytes of memory. That's twice as much as before. So much work has gone into fitting all of that inside a computer this thin. In terms of I.O., a headphone port, SD card reader, four USB 3 ports, two Thunderbolt, and gigabit Ethernet. I want to talk about storage just a little bit more. As I said, customers can choose a hard drive if they want, and many customers do because they want the maximum capacity. Others choose flash because that gives you maximum performance. In many cases, up to three to four times faster at key tasks. Well, with the iMac, as well as the Mac Mini we just discussed, we have a new third option for you to choose. It's called the Apple Fusion Drive. What's the Fusion Drive? Well, first, it's 128 gigabytes of flash storage. And added to that, your choice, either one or three terabyte hard drive. And in software, they're fused together into one logical volume. We do this so you can get much faster reads and writes than a hard drive can. But best of all, it's built into OS X Mountain Lion. So it's automatic. There's nothing to set up, nothing to manage, nothing to do. It just works. So how does it work? Well, when you order your iMac, if you choose the Fusion Drive, you get it, and there's one drive made up of both flash and the hard drive. 
Of course, the operating system entirely fits on that flash, so we keep it there for maximum system performance. In fact, all the software that comes pre-installed on your iMac automatically fits in flash. And then as you load up applications and documents or migrate them from a previous computer, we'll fill up all the space and use the storage you have. And then automatically, as you're using com your computer, OS X's Fusion Drive is figuring out what you use the most and what will benefit from being on Flash. So for example, if you don't use iMovie very often, but you use a lot of high-powered numbers spreadsheets, it might move those onto Flash. Or perhaps you use Aperture, not iPhoto. Well, it'll move a Aperture into Flash and run it from there as well. All transparently from, from you. You just use it, it works. And so how does it perform? Well, using that Aperture example, one common task in Aperture is to import photos. If you use a hard drive, you get a certain speed. And Flash is over three and a half times faster at this task. So how does the Fusion Drive compare? Here's how it compares. You get near the performance of Flash with access to all of that storage without having to do anything else. So that's the Fusion Drive. The iMac comes with a wireless keyboard and wireless Magic Mouse. Of course, many customers also choose a wireless Magic Trackpad as well. And for those who still are stuck in the past, yes, you can get an optical drive. We offer a great super drive that plugs into USB. There's a 21 and a half inch Mac that starts at a 2.7 gigahertz quad core i5, eight gigs of memory, a GeForce GT 640M, that's a Kepler part, and a terabyte hard drive for just $12.99. Of course, you can, you can make other configurations if you'd like, and these start shipping next month in November. The 27-inch iMac begins with a 2.9 gigahertz quad-core i5, eight gigs of memory, GeForce GTX 660M, a terabyte hard drive for $17.99. And these start shipping. We yep. start shipping about a month later in December. And again, like all of our computers, incredibly environmentally friendly, Energy Star 5.2, EP Gold, and on and on. We've also engineered this new iMac to be even more energy efficient. It uses up to 50% less power when sitting idle. So those are the new iMacs. 21 and a half inch, 27 inch, but perhaps the boldest new iMac designs we've ever created. And they carry on this great tradition we call iMac. And that completes our announcements for Mac. I'd like to turn it back to Tim. These products are really cool. Next, I'd like to talk about iPad. Now, it seems like each time we get together, there's a new number or a new statistic to illustrate the growth and momentum of this product. And today, I'm thrilled to tell you that two weeks ago, we sold our 100th million iPad. That's 100 million in just two and a half years. This is unprecedented for a new product in a new category. Now to put this in some perspective, we sold more iPads in the June quarter than any PC manufacturer sold of their entire PC lineup. Now this has attracted a fair amount of attention. And it seems like every day there's another tablet shipping. But when you look at the ones that are really being used, the numbers tell a different story. iPad accounts for over 90% of the web traffic from tablets. And we know that this is the thing that people do most often on a tablet. Now you might ask, 
So why is iPad so phenomenally successful? Well, it turns out that there's a simple reason for this. People love their iPads. <laughs> they love the big, beautiful, multi-touch display, the fast, fluid responsiveness of iPads hardware and software working together. They love the front camera that's absolutely perfect for FaceTime and the rear eyesight camera that takes great photos and great HD video. They love that they can connect anywhere they go using either Wi-Fi or cellular. They love iPad's legendary all-day battery life. And they love all of the amazing apps that have been optimized for iPad to help them work, play, create, and learn. One of the things that is so rewarding and so amazing to us is how quickly iPad has been embraced in education. Administrators, teachers, and students around the world have found iPad to be an incredible learning tool. Here's an example of what we're hearing. This is from a superintendent of a school district in Texas. He says, the iPad has been a real game changer in education. No technology has impacted the way teachers teach and students learn more quickly and more profoundly. With iPad, the possibilities are endless. We really believe this. And we saw this early on. Earlier this year, we announced iBooks Author to make it easy and simple to create rich, engaging, multi-touch textbooks. iBooks textbooks reinvent the textbooks with gorgeous full-screen layouts, interactive diagrams, photos, and videos, in fact, iBooks textbooks are now available for 80% of the U.S. high school core curricula. And these are rich, engaging textbooks on a variety of subjects from the sciences to mathematics and history. These are enough to make you want to be a kid again. We, iBooks textbooks I, our textbooks created with iBooks Author are now in over 2,500 schools in the U.S. <laughs> and it's not just the large three publishers that are using this. Smaller publishers, teachers, universities are using this to provide very engaging content. Now today, we're announcing the latest version of iBooks Author, and it includes some incredibly new Apple templates, like this one that's a portrait-only template. Publishers can now take their own fonts and use them to provide a more custom look of their books. And beginning also today, publishers can directly insert these beautifully rendered mathematical expressions directly into their books. This is actually very big. We're also announcing multi-touch widgets to provide even more options for interactivity. And publishers can now easily update their books. This is especially key in education where it's very important that students have access to the latest version of their textbooks. iBooks Author is available today as a free download and it's available on the Mac App Store. I would encourage everyone to check it out. Now, in addition to education, iPad is taking the business market by storm. In the office, in the field, 
And in places you could never dream of seeing a PC, iPad is showing up more and more and doing more and more things. In fact, almost every company in the Fortune 500 is now testing or deploying iPad. And we're seeing a similar success in smaller business. Now, with 100 million sold in just two and a half years, we couldn't be more thrilled with how quickly iPad has been embraced by so many users for so many different things. But we know we are just getting started. Earlier this year, we announced an iPad with a beautiful retina display. And this iPad has gone on to be the fastest selling iPad of all time and the top selling tablet in the world. But we're not taking our foot off the gas. We've got some really cool stuff to show you. And to do that, I'd like to invite Phil back up to the stage. Phil? Thank you. So just half a year ago, we introduced the third generation iPad with its retina display, and it's remarkable. So that's why it's more incredible that we're sitting here today, just over half a year later, to talk about the fourth generation iPad. It's amazing the pace the team is at, the pedal of the metal engineering attitude is just so thrilling. And this fourth generation iPad, it is a powerhouse. So what's inside it? A new chip, the Apple A6X chip, delivering even faster performance. We were already so far ahead of the competition, this just, I can't even see them in the rearview mirror. <laughs> it doubles the performance for CPU tasks. That is a huge jump ahead. It also doubles the graphics performance. They were not close to us, and now we've doubled that again. In addition, we've added a new generation of Apple Image Signal Processor for tasks like face recognition and image stabilization. So all of this power, two times CPU power, two times graphics power, new image processing, and it's energy efficient. The same 10 hours of battery life of the previous generation. We're also updating the FaceTime front side camera to FaceTime HD with 720p. And the cellular version has LTE with greatly expanded coverage. We're working with many carriers around the world to support LTE performance on this new fourth generation iPad. Many of the carriers you know and some new ones to support iPad like Sprint here in the US and KDDI in Japan. We've also updated the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi wi performance as well. It's up to twice as fast. It's 802.11 A, B, G, N, and N is 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. We've updated the connector to our latest connector, the Lightning connector. It's 80% smaller, all digital, reversible, and compatible with devices now being created for iPhone 5, iPod Touch, iPod Nano. We've added some new cables as well. For customers who want camera connections, we have Lightning to USB and Lightning to an SD card reader. For video out, there's lightning to HDMI and lightning to VGA. And all of this technology and performance is, of course, based on a system with this breakthrough new retina display for which there's nothing as beautiful in the market. The fourth generation iPad comes in both black and white. And it starts with the same configuration as the last generation, 16 gigabytes Wi-Fi for $499. So twice the performance, new features, at the same price. Thank you. And cellular as well, the same price, starting at $629. So if the third generation iPad was the best tablet in the world, the fourth generation just extends that lead. And it's all about helping customers to learn about this great new technology and find new ways to use it that they never dreamed of. 
So what else can we do to help customers find even more uses for iPad, to use it in places they never imagined, in manners they never have before? <laughs> I think we can tell by your excitement you know what this is. <laughs> this is iPad mini. And, and what can you do with an iPad mini that you can't already do with the amazing fourth generation iPad? Well, this. You can hold it in one hand. Now, this just isn't a shrunken down iPad. It's an entirely new design with a beautiful aluminum and glass enclosure where every detail is finely crafted and made just exquisite. And the process by which they're manufactured are at a level of tolerance unseen in our industry. There is nothing as amazing as this. This incredibly thin and beautiful iPad mini. Beautiful from every angle. Incredibly thin and light. Would you like to see one in person? This is iPad Mini. Look how thin that is. Amazing. Here, let me tell you a lot more about it. So this iPad Mini is just 7.2 millimeters thin. That's about a quarter thinner than the fourth generation iPad. To put it in context, it's as thin as a pencil. That's thin. It weighs just 0.68 pounds. That's over 50% lighter than the previous iPad, fourth generation. So in context, what could you compare that to? It's as light as a pad of paper. We were going to say a book, but books are much heavier. <laughs> so we came out with a pad of paper comes in black and white, the white with silver, the black with a slate back. It's beautiful on both sides. But I think one of the biggest questions people wonder is, what screen size do we pick and why? And the team worked really hard thinking about this. We want an iPad that's capable of running all that amazing software written for iPad without developers having to do any work. We wanted it to be smaller such that it could be thinner and lighter, as you can see, but not so small that it stops being incredibly usable because the iPad is the most usable of all these devices. So let's look at it side by side. Here is the current iPad 2 next to the iPad mini. The iPad 2 is 9.7 inches on the diagonal, iPad mini 7.9. So that's easy to remember, right? 9.7, 7.9. And the pixels are even easier to remember because they're exactly the same. The original iPad, the iPad 2 are 1024 by 768. And the new iPad mini is 1024 by 768. That means all of the software created for iPad all works on the iPad mini unchanged. And it's great to use in both the portrait and landscape position, which our customers love to use it in both manners. So it's great for reading your email and responding to your email and surfing the web. It's great for managing all your photos and sharing them with friends and family. It's fantastic for kicking back and reading a magazine or a book on. It is amazing to sit there and hold it and do a FaceTime HD phone call on something so thin and light. It's great for all of your iWork applications, Keynote, Pages, Numbers, it's fantastic for all the iLife applications, iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand. I mean, it is so much fun to sit there and play multi-touch software instruments in GarageBand on this thin and light iPad. And all of those applications work wonderfully on it. So if you're a customer who likes to use Facebook all day long, you're going to love using Facebook on the new iPad. If you love creating content with applications like Paper, an amazing drawing application, you're going to love doing that on iPad mini. If you love playing games, playing 
incredibly amazing games like Real Racing 2 are incredible on the new iPad. In fact, I could sit there here and do 275,000 examples for you, and I would love to, but we don't have enough time. They work amazing on iPad mini. No one else can say that with their tablets. In fact, others have tried to make tablets small on the iPad, and they've failed miserably. These are not great experiences. Well, why? Let me give you an example. So here we have iPad mini on the right and an Android tablet on the left. This is the latest, greatest, most favored, reviewed new device. So let's compare them. Well, first, let's just look at the bezels around the display. Ours, the iPad mini, is made of aluminum, and we've worked hard to make it thin so it's comfortable to hold and use with one hand. Theirs is made of plastic. It's thicker. In fact, the entire product, that Android product, is thicker and heavier than iPad mini, even though it has a smaller display. So let's look at those displays. On the diagonal, theirs is 7 inches. The iPad mini is 7.9. That doesn't sound like a lot more, does it? Well, that's on the diagonal. The actual area of the display, 21.9 square inches for the Android tablet, 29.6 for the iPad mini. The iPad mini is actually over a third larger display area, 35%. That's a huge difference. And it doesn't stop there. What's the number one thing people do on their iPads? Surf the web. We love to surf the web on our iPads. So here's surfing the web. This is a popular museum, the Guggenheim Museum, and visiting it in both browsers. But you can see there's things around the browser. There's tabs. Android has some software controls on the bottom of the display. So let's remove all that noise and just look at the web pages. You can see a huge difference. The iPad mini is about 50% larger for surfing the web, holding your portrait orientation. That is a gigantic difference. Yet the iPad mini is thinner and lighter. As I said, many customers also like to use it in the landscape orientation. So let's turn them sideways. Let's remove all the noise around it. Here's your web pages. The iPad mini is two-thirds larger to surf the web. There is a gigantic difference in these products. And it doesn't stop there. There's all those third-party applications. As Tim told you, we have these amazing applications for iPad users. And we've learned. We have over 700,000 applications that can run an iPad, but customers love the ones written for iPad, designed for that screen, over 275,000 of them. What does the other platform have? They have phone applications stretched up not tablet applications. So for example, if you like to hang with your friends in Yelp, you get a great experience on iPad mini, you get a scaled up phone experience on that other product. There's a big difference. If you like to shop on eBay, a huge difference between what you can do on an iPad and on these other products. If you like to listen to music in Pandora, the differences are night and day. If you like to go search for videos to watch in Vimeo, a great experience, not great experience. <laughs> like to plan your trip on TripAdvisor. An incredible experience on iPad mini. Well, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we could go on and on. So let's, let's talk a little bit more about what's inside iPad mini. It is a great iPad. In fact, the technology is inside are equal to or better than the iPad 2 in every way. There's an amazing set of technology that make this just a great iPad. First, there's an Apple A5 chip, a dual core A5 chip that has more than enough power to drive this incredible mini display and give you great performance for all your applications and games. It has a FaceTime camera now better than what we had in iPad 2, a FaceTime HD front side camera. An even bigger difference on the camera on the back side, a 5 megapixel EyeSight camera. So you can take beautiful 5 megapixel photos or 1080p HD video. That's far in advance of what we had on iPad 2. The wireless has advanced greatly too. It has the same LTE capabilities that you see in our new fourth generation iPad, LTE wireless. We have the faster Wi Fi as well 80211 A, B, G, N, and N at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, so twice as fast Wi Fi. We've built in that lightning connector, so it's compatible with the accessories being created for iPhone 5, the fourth generation iPad, iPod Touch, and iPod Nano. And all of this technology, all this incredible capability in such a thin and light device, the team has worked really hard to get you the same battery life 
10 hours of battery life, just like the fourth generation iPad. So hopefully. <laughs> so hopefully, as you've been hearing about all these features and performance and capability, you see it is every inch an iPad. So we've created a video to tell you a lot more about it. I'd like to play that now. From the very beginning, the iPad was designed to be very powerful, very capable, but also remarkably simple to use. So our goal was to take all the amazing things that you can do with a full-size iPad, but pack them into a product that is so much smaller. And that's what we did with the new iPad Mini. One of the things that makes iPads so incredible is that there's almost no end to what you can do with it. So when we decided to make the iPad Mini, we wanted to make sure it had all the features that make iPads so magical. We began with a display that has the same resolution as the iPad 2. So all your apps and content look and work the same way. And at 7.9 inches, it's small enough to fit in one hand, but it's still large enough to give you that rich, immersive iPad experience. It has a dual-core A5 chip for fast, fluid performance, both FaceTime and iSight cameras. It gets a full 10 hours of battery life, and it runs more than 275,000 apps made just for iPad. These aren't scaled-up phone apps. These are powerful apps that take full advantage of iPad Mini's beautiful display. You can access all your favorite music, movies, and TV shows from the iTunes Store. One and a half million books on the iBookstore, and over 5,000 magazines and newspapers on Newsstand. And another thing we're really excited about is that iPad Mini comes with FaceTime HD. Seeing your friends and family in high definition makes you feel like you're that much closer. If all that we had done was take the original iPad and just reduce it, all that you would be aware of was, was everything that was just missing. That there is inherent loss in just reducing a product in size. And what we did was we went back to the very beginning and we took the time to design a product that was a concentration of, not a reduction of the original. We felt strongly that 7.9 inches was exactly the right display size, but it became clear that we had to reduce the width of the borders so you can still pick it up and easily use it with one hand. We have continued to develop our unibody process. There are essentially two parts to the enclosure, the glass and the aluminium. And that junction where the two parts actually come together is incredibly important. The diamond cut chamfer meets seamlessly with the glass. And I think it's a beautiful detail that further reduces parts and actually makes it more durable. We also designed an entirely new smart cover for the iPad mini. By eliminating the separate aluminum hinge, we now essentially wrap the iPad mini in a single, simple colored material. The biggest challenge that we faced was incorporating all of these great features in a much smaller and lighter device. In order to do this, every part had to be custom designed, starting with the display. The glass on the front and back are only 0.2 millimeters thin. The touch subsystem is a mere 0.12 millimeters thin. It weighs half as much as any we've ever done before. Beyond the screen, we took some dramatic steps to maximize interior space. It has the largest and thinnest single cell battery we've ever designed. We designed a smaller motherboard to house the powerful A5 chip and built in the new smaller lightning connector. We also redesigned the iSight and FaceTime HD cameras, and they allow you to take amazing photos in HD video. We've been able to build all of this technology into a device that is only 0.68 pounds and 7.2 millimeters thin. All of these efforts combine to make a product that is incredibly thin and light and has absolutely remarkable levels of fit and finish. And I think the result is an extraordinary iPad, one that will be used in so many different places, in so many different ways.
iPad mini is every inch an iPad. As you saw, it comes with a, a great line of accessories, including these optional smart covers that come in blue, green, pink, light gray, dark gray, and even a great product red one as well. They're smart, so they work with the software intelligently, and they're great to use in every angle. And they really complement this incredible new iPad mini. The iPad mini starts with a full 16 gigabytes of memory. And the Wi-Fi configuration will be priced at $329. Now, of course, that is the lowest price yet for an iPad, helping us to reach even more customers. So this is the iPad lineup. iPad mini it starts at $329. iPad 2 at $399. iPad fourth generation with a retina display at $499. Of course, there are many configurations of memory you can choose from. So there those all are, the Wi-Fi configurations. And then, of course, cellular configurations. So there's something in a wide range of price for everyone in each the most amazing, best iPad or tablet device that anyone, anyone has offered. Now, if you want to get your hands on one, how are you going to do that? Well, both iPad mini and the fourth generation iPad be able to start to pre-order this Friday on October 26th. And the Wi-Fi versions will ship first just a week later on November 2nd to a large list of countries. Here they are. And then about two weeks later, we'll start to ship the cellular versions, first in the US and then gradually around the world. Of course, like all of our products, the team works very hard to make sure this is environmentally friendly, the iPad mini and the fourth generation iPad, arsenic-free display glass, mercury-free display, BFR-free, PVC-free, and of course, highly recyclable. So this is an amazing new addition to our iPad family. And we're going to be so excited to tell customers about it if they don't already know how exciting it is right now, streaming this live on the internet. And we're going to add a TV, a TV ad that we're going to run and introduce customers to it in a really simple and fun way. I'd love to run that for you now. Definitely thanks to the ad team for that. They just really came up with the most creative way to introduce an iPad mini to everyone who already knows how great iPad is. And that's iPad mini. Let me turn it back to Tim. It's very cool. We told you earlier this year that you would see some incredible innovation from Apple across the year. Innovation that only Apple could deliver. We think we've kept our promise, and I hope that you agree. We shipped Mountain Lion and iOS 6, the latest versions of our desktop and mobile operating systems with hundreds of new features, including great new features that help Macs and iOS devices work seamlessly together. We launched two new incredible iPods, a completely redesigned Nano and an amazingly thin fifth generation iPod Touch. We launched the unbelievable new iPhone with an incredibly thin and light design with a beautiful four inch retina display. We refreshed our entire lineup of notebooks and reinvented the Pro Notebook with the 13-inch, 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina displays. And we announced today the unbelievably thin and unbelievably gorgeous new iMac. 
Earlier this year, we announced the third generation iPad with a retina display, and today we replaced it with a faster generation, with a faster I fourth generation iPad, and added the iPad mini to the iPad family. Yes, it has been an incredible year with all of these new products and all of the applications and cloud services. This has been a truly prolific year of innovation for Apple. We hope that you love these products as much as we loved creating them. I'd personally like to thank all of the teams at Apple that have worked so hard to create everything you've seen today and everything across the year. They dedicate a huge part of their lives to making the best products on earth. These are the most talented and most innovative people I know. And it is a privilege and an inspiration for me to be able to work with them. I want to thank everyone for coming. We've got a hands-on area with all of the new products you've seen today. It's upstairs. I invite you all to go get your hands on them. They're fantastic. Thank you for joining us.